Hey, what's up, students? I'm back with another example from the Lesson 9 Help Part 2, more vertical angles. Remember, vertical angles are equal to each other when they point at each other, and then any linear pair adds to 180. So kind of like the last one, let me go back a slide. This one, the Y was equal to stuff. This one, not so lucky. So I'm going to write down stuff I know. The 5X equals all of this noise. So if you write this down, it'll be a little bit easier to figure out what you're going to try to isolate. So if there's a variable that is not isolated, but you have one that is really close to being isolated, you can go ahead and make it isolated. So this Y is very close to being isolated. It's got an extra X and it's got an extra 40. The reason I don't isolate the X is because there's another 5X over here and it's just a big pain in the butt to eliminate. So get rid of this X. Get rid of this X. So goodbye. Get rid of this 40. And then do it to both sides. Okay, there you go. You just isolated Y. The last slide, the last example, Y was already by itself. And sometimes you need to make Y be by itself. Okay, so Y is all by itself. I'm going to rewrite it so it's Y equals stuff. 5X minus an X is a 4X. And then a minus 40 is a minus 40. Okay, Y equals this stuff. Oops, make that a four. There we go. Y equals this stuff. That means this stuff can go in for Y all the way over here. There we go. So I'm going to rewrite that. Uh, a little bit of mental math here, students. If one Y equals this, then two Ys would equal two of these. So an 8X minus an 80. Okay, a little bit of mental math, y'all. Um, you can actually substitute it in and distribute the two, or you can just double it. If one equals this, two of these would equal two of those. Okay, now since 2y equals this angle, I'm going to rewrite it over here. So I'm going to put an 8x minus 80 right there. Okay, I could rewrite it over here, put it over here, but I have the space, so why not put it over where you have the space to write it? Okay, so a quick replay. Vertical angles are equal. I didn't have any isolated variables, so I made one be isolated. Y equals stuff. Stuff goes in for Y. Rewrite. Okay, next move. Side by side, add to 180. So let's see, you've got Y's, you've got Y's and X's, you've got X's, you've got, oh, here we go. If you have the same variable on side by sides, you probably want to combine those side by sides to make 180 degrees. Okay, so let's write that out. I'm going to go ahead and combine the like terms. 5X plus 8X would be a 13X. Okay, and then you have the minus 80 still. Together, these angles are going to equal 180. So let's do some algebra here. I'm going to add the 80 to both sides. Add the 80 to both sides. 13x is going to equal 260. Divide both sides by 13. We're running out of space. X is going to equal 20. Okay, so I have one of the variables. Again, these questions could ask for X, they could ask for Y, they could ask for the top angle, bottom angle, side, any of the angles. So I just find everything and then I answer the questions later. Okay, so if X equals 20, what can we do with that? Well, I'm going to substitute it in right here. This seems to be the easiest X value. You can plug it in anywhere you want. Ooh, 8 times X minus 80. No, how about 5 times X? So here we go. So type it in right here. Type it in. Plug it in right here. 5 times 20 is 100. Let's go a different color here. This angle is 100 degrees. If this angle is 100 degrees, the vertical angle is 100 degrees. Okay, if these angles are 100, the side-by-sides have got to add to 180. So if I need 180 and I take away 100, you've got to be 80 degrees. So the bottom right has got to be 80 degrees and the top left has got to be 80 degrees. There we go. We have every single angle. We have X but we still need Y. Oh no, what can we do? Well, 2Y equals 80. So how about we write that down over here? 2Y equals 80 divided by 2 divided by 2. Looks like Y is going to equal a 40. All right. Whew, that's a lot of work. Hopefully you have plenty of scratch paper to do these questions. They do take multiple steps, but if you do each step nice and smooth and slow and you do them correctly, you can find the answer pretty quickly. It doesn't take, doesn't take forever. I mean, we're on five minutes of this video and, you know, 
we got it figured out. And I took my time explaining things too. So you can do it even faster because I believe in you. All right, quick replay. Vertical angles are equal. So you write it down as so. You isolate a variable. Once a variable equals stuff, that stuff can go in for the variable. So in this case, we doubled it because it was two y's. And you write it opposite, or you can replace it. Uh, the goal is to get side by sides with the same variable so you can make an equation where they add to 180. One step, two step, solve for one of the variables. In this case, we found x first. Once you have x, you can plug it in to any of the equations that have x. Um, then you get one of the angles. Once you have one of the angles, you can get all of the angles. Remember, friends, anytime you have an x, if you have any of the four angles, you should be able to find the other three very quickly using this idea and this idea. And then finally, we had to find y because there was no lone y's. Well, I guess we could have also put 20 in right here. We could have done that. Okay, we could have put 20 in right there. We could have substituted 4 times 20, but it was also easier to solve this one, 2y equals 80. So it depends, friends. Um, find x and y however you can. Substitute, find the other pieces, and that's how you handle these vertical angles with substitution and linear pairs, and that's about it. All right, we'll see you in class.